Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to create this Chloe particle text reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. This is 100% After Effects and it's very easy to create. So before I begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, comp and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration 30 seconds. Just click on OK. Now first thing we are going to add our text. So you can select the text tool and I'm using this splash bleeding font. It's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. So after that just simply click and you can type whatever text you want. I'm going to type Raptor and once you have your text you can just simply select it and you can align it into the center of this composition and if you are not able to see this align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now let's quickly move its anchor point into the center so you can hold down the layer and then hold down the control or command key on mac then just simply double click on this pan anchor tool and it will make the anchor point in the center now let me just quickly change the quality to full so over here we have our text. We can add a little bit of spacing between the text. So in order to do that, you can just simply go to animate and from here you can add tracking and let's just increase the tracking a little bit, something like this. Yeah, this is looking fine. You can also select this and if you want, you can scale this up however you want. Yeah, I think this is looking fine. So once you are happy with your text, we are ready to animate it. So first we are going to create some strokes which will help us to reveal this text and in order to do that we are going to select the pen tool and just make sure none of the layer is selected and the fill is set to none like this and you can select the stroke and you can pick whatever color you want does not matter after that all you have to do is just simply click at one point and then just simply trace this text so just click and move your text something like this so that it's not visible at all just like this So now we have covered our text and if you see some gaps you can just probably increase the stroke width and then just simply adjust these just like that now just simply continue doing this and let's click over here and let's turn this and we are going to write a just keep on doing this until you have your full text covered So there you go now you can see that we have covered our text and now we are going to animate this stroke so in order to do that we are going to go under the layer and let's add a trim path and after that we can animate the endpoint something like this so let's add a keyframe in the beginning and let's move to somewhere around 2 seconds and 15 frames and let's change this to 100 so now you can see that we have our text revealing something like this and we are going to add little bit of details into this stroke and in order to do that we can just simply add wiggle path and let's go under this and first thing I'm going to do is just change the wiggle per second to zero and after that you can play around with the details and size so this is completely up to you and after that if needed you can just simply tweak this so that the text is completely occupied something like this there you go now we have our text completely occupied and let's do one more thing i don't want this to be like a straight line we can add some taper to this so if you go under stroke over here we have this option called taper and after that we can just increase this something like this so now you can see that instead of having a flat edge we have this really nice taper at the end and we can probably increase this something like this so there you go now we have this really nice text reveal and at the end we can probably animate this so let's add a keyframe over here and let's change this to zero so that our text is completely visible something like this so once you are happy with your animation we can change the track mat to make our text reveal and if you are not able to save this track mat option then just simply click over here 
just like this after that we can set this to alpha mat and now if i play back here you can see that we have our text revealing just like this so which is exactly what we want so once we are done with this we can probably start adding some details to this but first let's select these layers and press ctrl d to duplicate them after that let's select these top two layers and then right click click on pre-compose and let's call this text just click on ok and we are probably going to disable this for now and now let's add some shiny glow to this for that i'm going to create a new adjustment layer and let's place it below the text layer and on this one i'm going to apply an effect called cc light burst 2.5 and then just simply drag it onto this and right away you can see that we have this really nice rays coming out we can select the center point and let's place it somewhere around here we can change the intensity and let's increase the ray length something like this and this is completely up to you you can play around with these values and you can see what works for you and i can add some color to this so let's select the layer and let's apply fill effect onto this text layer so just drag it onto this and it's completely up to you you can pick whatever color you want for this example i'm going to pick this really nice green color something like this and let's probably play around with the intensity let's pump this up and increase the ray length you can play around with the point something like this and after that we can enable our top text layer just like this we can probably go inside this and let's apply a fill to this as well and on this one i'm going to give it a green color but a very light green something like this and if i go back here you can see that we have our text so if i play back you can see that our text is being written on and we have this really nice light streaks coming up now let's add some glow to this so in order to do that you can select the text layer and let's apply glow and after that i am going to increase the glow quite a bit something like 300 and let's change the intensity to something like 0.5 yeah, so I think this is looking fine. And you can probably play around with these values. Let's set this to something like 200. Yeah, I think this is looking much better. Let's set this to zero for now. And we have our text. And if you think that it's too bright, then you can lower down its intensity. Something like 0.2. But again, it's completely up to you. I'm going to set this to 0.4 for now now let's add some detailing to these rays and in order to do that we are going to use an effect called fractal noise so let's go to layer make sure you are inside the comp layer new solid and you can pick black color just click on ok after that let's apply fractal noise and just drag it onto this layer and over here we are going to change a couple of these settings so we can increase the contrast and let's go under the transform under the scale let's increase this and we are going to set this to something like this and now let's pick this and we are going to place it on top of our adjustment layer and after that we can select this and change its track mat to luma mat so now you can see that we have these really nice detailing in the light rays which looks like smoke particles and we can probably animate this by simply selecting the solid and we can add a keyframe or we can type an expression so you can hold on the alt or option key and click on the stopwatch and after that i'm gonna type a expression called time times 200 so now if I play back here you can see that not only our text is revealing also these smoke is moving in the rays. So if you want you can increase this. So let's set this to something like 400. So now if I play back here you can see we have this effect. I think it's too much. Let's set this to 250 for now. 
Yeah, I think this is looking better. If your preview starts slow, then you can change the resolution to half. And let me just quickly select our text layers. And we can probably move them a little bit up. Something like this. And once you are happy with your text, we can probably add some particles to this. In order to add the particles, we are going to use the stock footages. I'll put a link in the description from where you can download these. So once you have downloaded them, just simply select them and drag them to your After Effects. And after that, we can just simply select these and just drag it inside the composition. Just like this. Now you can play around with their position. And let's place it on top of everything. And for now, let's just set this to screen. There you go. Now we have added some particles. Also, we can select this video and let's place it below. And we can play around and see a position where the particles are coming. So somewhere around here. After that, we can select all of these layers and let's just simply move them a little bit ahead. Something like this. I think this is looking better. You can just simply play around with these position. Yeah, I think this is looking fine. Now let's add some colors to these particles. So you can select the layer after that search for curves and then just simply drag it onto the layer and you can add a really nice S curve. Something like this. After that, we can go under the colors and we can add a little bit of green to this. Something like this. Let's pick the red and let's lower this down. And let's do the same thing with the blue. So it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever colors you want and you can have a desired look. Something like this. And you can play around with these values. Let me just quickly add a little bit of glow and you can play around with the position of the rays. It's completely up to you. For this example, I'm going to place it over here. And let's set the intensity to something like 5. You can play around with the ray length. Let's set this to 200 only. And in the same way, we can apply curves to this top layer as well. And let's add a little bit of contrast. And again, we can change the colors. Let's pump the greens. Lower down the reds. And blues as well. So now if I play back here, you can see that we have this really nice text reveal. And if you want to change the colors, then you can just simply tweak around with these curves and then change the color for the text as well. But there's a very nice little trick if you want to have a quick preview of different colors. So in order to do that, all you have to do is just simply add an adjustment layer. And on top of this, you can apply and search for an effect. You can search. And on top of this, you can search for an effect called Colors HLS and then just simply drag it onto this. And after that, you can play around with the hue. And you can pick whatever color you want. You can increase the saturation. So now you can see we have quickly changed our color just like this. But for now, let's go with the green. And yeah, I think this is looking fine. So this is how you can create your really nice text reveal animation. You can also add sound effects to this to make it even better. And if you want to change the text, all you have to do is just simply go inside the text layer and type your text and you can just probably play around with the shape layer so that it covers the new text and do the same thing over here. And after that, your text will be updated and all the other effects will remain the same. So this is how you can create these glowy particle text reveal animation in after effects the project files for this tutorial are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there 
And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. If you have any queries or questions, you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.